ba 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 custom transitions. We're gonna learn about making fancy wipe things. Hey everybody, this is Evan Abrams, and right now I'm gonna show you how to make a custom wipe transition that moves across the screen, and you can reuse it later, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. So I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. Let's get into it. First, we need a couple of footages to uh, work with so we can transfer between them. We need a new composition. Uh, that's all fine. Let's only make it good 10 seconds long. That's about all the time I have to devote to this thing. And bring in a couple of layers. So we've got one thing that looks like the letter A, one thing that looks like the letter B. And basically we want one to wipe into the other. So, you know, let's go ahead and make a new solid. And this is going to work as an operator to affect the uh, alpha channel of the A slide right here. So we're going to take this and we're just going to use the mask tool to draw on some fun little rectangles. Let's just do that. And you know, we want to make sure that we have all the rectangles evenly spaced because someone will notice. They'll probably say something to you later when you're at a party or something and embarrass you in front of your friends. So let's go snap to grid. And for those of you who didn't notice, that's showing the grid here. You can go view, show grid there, snap to grid. You can use these stupid commands if you want. So let's get into it and uh, just snap this thing to the grid here. So we're going to make one about that big. Go to a head and make one that's like too big. That didn't quite work out. Uh, double click on a mask's anchor point to uh, be able to transform it thusly. So that's fun. That's pretty good. Uh, it doesn't matter if it kind of comes off the end, it's not even remotely important. Let's go three ahead and make one that's like three large. Something like that. Yeah, yeah it's looking alright. And just move that a little bit this way. All right. So we've got a couple of bands, bars, whatever you want to call these things. Totally fine with me. Uh, let's make one more. Let's make one uh, right here. Da, 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 da. Making masks is fun. And we want the end of the animation to cover all of the all of the frame. So let me just take all of these. And just kind of like move them this way a lot. A little bit more just to be safe. And then we'll take this one here and we'll expand it out to cover the whole lot of it. So that should be good. We don't need our grid anymore. Goodbye grid. Make sure that we're not snapping to it anymore. Generally when you don't see it, you don't snap to it. So that's good. Take all of these, hit M. That's going to bring up your mask path. Let's go ahead about 10 frames and set a keyframe here. This is what we want it to end on. We want the end to be that. And we want the start to be, click and drag these over, want this to be none of them on. Whoop! And they come across like that. So, we, we. So, we want that to happen. And really, all you need to do to make that happen is to take this, let's, you know, go ahead a bit, have that layer start here, take this layer, set its track mat to the alpha inverted of the thing on top of it, whoa, and there it goes. So basically what we're saying is, layer two, look at the layer above you, figure out what its alpha channel is, and then do the opposite. Now you can do the other one, which is to say, use your alpha information to be my alpha information, which means when this is full of stuff, then this is full of stuff. But we want to use this thing to positively make this one go away, so we do it like that. You can do it the other way too, if you want. Um, you can, you know, have it bring stuff on if you so desire, so that works too. And uh, that's pretty much how you make the thing of it. Now, if you want to reuse this effect, that's uh, something else entirely. So, 
we've made it. It looks pretty good. And, you know, maybe you've got another project coming up. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're just like, you know what, that was a good transition. I want to save it for later. We're going to go layer, pre-compose, and pre-compose just this top layer. So select only that one. And then go to uh, layer, pre-compose. Name this something like wipe uh, trans or whatever you want to call it. I'm not good with capitals. You want to move all the attributes to the new composition so that in this composition is all the work you did. Um, when you have the checkerboard button here on, you can see where the alpha holes are as opposed to them just being black and making perhaps, you know, you think, oh, well, those are just black holes. When I render this, it's going to be black, white, black, white, like a barcode. But really, you want to render it out so that the alpha information is saved as well, so that you have a pre-keyed or, you know, pre-matted thing. That's M-A-T-T-E. So you're going to go composition, make movie, or command M, or control M, I think. Um, and we're going to call this wipe trans. Why not? Put it in the old wipe tutorial there. And we would like this to be uh, lossless, but uh, we also want it to be RBG plus alpha. Um, let's say we made these like colored bands or something, then you'd want to have the color information in there. And OK, and render. Oh, that went by pretty fast. That's pretty good. Boom. Now when we bring that back in, and we look at it, as you can see, it's kept the alpha information that we rendered it with. So when we go back into our original comp here, we can just select that top layer, hold down Alt, grab this new thing, pull it in on top, and, uh, you know, it's like we haven't missed anything, really. And... You know, the good thing about this is you can reuse it in other projects. Uh, let's say someone wants you to make like a, a show package or something. You can render all these things out and give them to another editor and wipe your hands of it and walk away from the project. And you know, then they can use this in turn and they can, you know, they can go between two things if they really want to, or you could do something like... So let's say you've got some kind of a text or a graphic thing that you want to bring on. Well, you know what? Maybe a, a simple wipe isn't going to do it this time. Bring out your custom wipe transition, align that with the front here, use the alpha inverted, or if you want to bring something on, use the regular alpha mat. And now suddenly, you know, Scenes are changing, stuff is coming on the screen, and yeah, so kind of like, whir, that's fun. Now you could even use this and just, you know what, I'm just going to like scale that down a little bit, kind of like that. And, you know, I changed my mind, now I want it to be kind of like an angle like this. So what, 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 what is he doing? Ow, oh, there are so many options with this new thing I've made. You can reuse it on other shows. If you're doing something that has episodes, you can reuse it in future episodes. You know, it really defines... The idea is to define a custom look for your stuff, so when people see it, they think, Oh, dope, that guy's stuff is the one with that thing, and it you know, makes you unique, makes your show stand out. Um, and yeah, you can just keep reusing it in different fun ways. You could time remap this. You could stretch its time, make it slower or faster. You could... Uh, See, you could duplicate that, make it like a, an actual like solid layer of some form. Uh, D -d 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 -d. You could make this like uh, you make like an adjustment layer, even you know. If uh, let me just bear with me for a couple seconds here. How about that? Now we just add a little bit. Of, whoa, whoa! Now you're adding more effects to this thing. That is so good. You know what? What else are you gonna do? I don't know. How would I duplicate it and just do that again? So that's kind of wacky. Anywho, you get the idea. You can use this for all sorts of stuff, adding various levels of panache to whatever you're doing, and, you know, just uh, having a grand old time with that. Uh, the idea is just, you know, have fun, experiment around. You know, once you have 
the tools and the ability, you'll find that you'll be coming up with crazy, wacky stuff on your own. So again, this is Evan Abrams. This has been How to Make a Custom Transition for bringing on elements, changing between scenes, uh, using the alpha layer of another layer, using that track mat right in here. So again, that's track mat, alpha, using the alphas. If you want to learn how to do it with the Lumas, then uh, check out another tutorial. I'll put a button in here. Actually, this is part of like a four-part series, so check out one of those. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more cool stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, check me out on Twitter. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to help them out, help you out as uh, best I can. And yeah, uh, this has been Evan Abrams. Thanks for checking my stuff out, and uh, have a great day. Transitioning away